Hey, here are five stupid things I've noticed about moon landing conspiracy theories. The Kubrick filmed the whole thing on a soundstage argument. One of the most well-known and preposterous claims of moon landing hoaxers is that the footage of the moon landings was actually shot here on Earth on a secret soundstage by none other than 2001 A Space Odyssey director and one of my favorite filmmakers, Stanley Kubrick. Now, never mind that the footage depicts astronauts doing things like floating in zero gravity in the space capsules and walking in the lighter lunar gravity once they had landed. That would have been very difficult, if not impossible, to fake on a soundstage on Earth in the 1960s. This theory also asserts that NASA hired Kubrick to direct this project in 1968 when he was still in post-production for 2001. And if you believe that he would have allowed NASA to distract him from finishing his movie, you don't know dick about Stanley Kubrick. The ignorance of hard scientific evidence. That moon footage that Kubrick supposedly faked on a soundstage, yeah, there's hundreds and hundreds of hours of that. I mean, literally miles of film and videotape, all taken by the astronauts themselves, most of which was never broadcast, and only recently, in the last few years, has been made available to the public through home video releases and over the Internet. And add to that all the moon rocks and regolith that the astronauts brought back to Earth from the moon, and the fact that in 2009, the landing sites were photographed by a probe in lunar orbit and the descent stages of the lunar modules and the other equipment left behind by the astronauts at the time was clearly visible. You take all of that and you've got several mountains of evidence that the lunar landings actually took place. That if you're a hoaxer, you just have to pretend you don't see. The number of conspirators required. Nearly half a million people worked on the Apollo project. Not just astronauts, but scientists, engineers, factory workers. And this was not a short-term project. It was 11 years from President Kennedy's we choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things speech to the end of the final Apollo mission. None of those hundreds of thousands of people has ever come forward with compelling evidence that the moon landings were faked. Now, hey, maybe they all have just been keeping their mouths shut for 40 years. Who knows? But don't forget, it's not just the American public who they were fooling. What about the Soviets? Moon hoaxers always seem to forget about the incredibly powerful and hostile country we were competing against in the space race. I mean, sure, sometimes they'll cite the space race as motivation for faking the landings since the U.S. was desperate to beat the Soviets to the moon, or at least make it look that way. But don't you think if the spacecraft we said we were sending to the moon weren't actually going there, the Soviets might have noticed? Hoax proponent and all-around contemptible asshole Bart Sabrell claims that the Soviet Union didn't have the capability to track spacecraft as far as the moon until after the Apollo program was over, but that's horseshit. The Soviets launched Luna 2, the first unmanned space probe to reach the moon, in 1959, and they launched and tracked multiple unmanned spacecraft to the moon throughout the 1960s. But hey, Speaking of Bart Sabrell and stupid things about moon landing conspiracies, how about the fact that Buzz Aldrin only punched Bart Sabrell once? September 9th, 2002. It's one of my favorite days. Know why? Because that's the day that this happened. That's moon landing hoaxer Bart Sabrell getting punched in the face and second man on the moon Buzz Aldrin doing the punching. God, I could watch that all day. Actually, do you mind? <sighs> anyway, moon landing conspiracy theories don't just offend me for their ignorance and their irrationality. They offend me because they seek to deny what I think is really the greatest accomplishment in human history. I mean, think about it. Hundreds of thousands of individuals pooling their labor and their intellect and their courage and landing people on the moon 
and not just once, but six times. I mean, the people that did that, the, the astronauts and the technicians and the engineers and the scientists and the factory workers who manufactured the components that made the spacecraft. I mean, they're the best of us. They're my heroes, really. And it takes a special kind of cynical asshole to look at what those men and women accomplished and the mountain of evidence that they did, in fact, accomplish it and just go, meh, didn't happen. So, really, I mean, for me, an astronaut punching a moon landing hoaxer in the face is really the most beautiful thing that can happen. I mean, what beats that? Maybe an astronaut cracking a moon landing hoaxer in the skull with a moon rock? I don't know, I'll think about it. The hardest part is only picking five. Catch you next time.